Market conditions in 2010 are affecting two of Georgia's most popular row crops. In this next story, Mark Wildman explains how both the cotton and peanut crops are adjusting to the changing demand. This year, cotton producers are finally seeing good prices for their crop, and as a result, producers are upping their acreage. USDA back in March put us at uh, 1.15 million acres, and I think we could push one and a quarter. And this is good news for Georgia producers who have seen brief periods of price spikes in recent years, but nothing that has really lasted. Back in, I think, 08, when we did see a good run up in prices, I think it lasted for a couple of weeks and all the merchants pulled off the market and basically it was not available to farmers anyway. So this is the first um, really good decent level of prices that we've had in quite a number of years. All of this comes when the country is struggling economically and manufacturing has been scaled back. But manufacturers still need supply and with acres cut back in recent years the market has finally raised prices to meet the current demand. We went through three years where we cut back in acreage nationwide. Um, that was due to high prices in corn and soybeans. So we adjusted on the supply side but we didn't get much of a response in price because demand was also weak. Really the, the trigger that started all this since we adjusted on the supply side has been the demand side beginning to come back. Farmers who plant cotton a lot of times plant peanuts as well and changes are on the way in that crop too. According to USDA Ag Statistics, uh, peanut acreage in Georgia in 2010 is about 540,000 planted acres. It may be a little below or a little above that, but close in that 540,000 acre range, which is up about 6% from the 09 crop, which was about 505,000 planted acres, so a little bit of a bump. Along with the shift in acres, farmers are in the process of changing varieties. We've seen a tremendous shift or change in the variety uh, situation in peanuts in Georgia. Uh, the, the 09 crop and now the 2010 crop, that's where we've seen that shift occur. For a number of years, Georgia producers grew a variety called Georgia Green for its yield and resistance to tomato spotted wilt virus. But that variety is going away. In order for farmers to stay ahead of diseases and other problems, they must choose a new variety. Right now, there are several promising new varieties to choose from. The peanut breeding programs at the University of Georgia, University of Florida, and the USDA program in Tifton have uh, developed some outstanding looking peanut cultivars over the last few years. And now we have seen the shift more to, well in fact in 2010 the majority of the acreage is going to be planted in uh, uh, Georgia 06G. Uh, probably pushing 40% of the acreage in that cultivar, followed by the TIF Guard, which is a USDA release, and then Florida 07 out of the University of Florida. Those two are going to be somewhere in that 15 to 20% range. So those three alone are going to make up probably about 70% of our acreage. The market will eventually sort out acreage and which varieties farmers choose, because whatever is more profitable will eventually win out. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.